Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to create an easy water-based foundation. Now one of the problems when you usually create a foundation type product is that the actual iron oxides that you use to create the colour are normally quite oil compatible and oil soluble. But today I'm going to introduce you to some new phytic acid coated iron oxides that disperse easily in water. Take a look at this. Here are two beakers of water. Now if I dump some straight iron oxide into one and stir, you'll see it's quite clumpy. It's not dispersed evenly and there are residual particles settling on the bottom. And this is obviously no good in a formulation. But when I use special phytic acid coated grades, they go into the formula smoothly and easily. Meaning that my pigment can be part of the water phase, enabling me to create very light skin fill, oil and water foundation emulsions. Being able to disperse the iron oxides into the water phase means I can create really light skin fill products suitable for BB or CC creams that are oil and water emulsions. Here's an example of the product we'll be making today. And what you're going to see is how easy it is to disperse these coated iron oxides into the water phase, which also means I can skip any grinding or milling step that I'd normally need to do to any other iron oxides as well. And being phytic acid coated, provided by Sensient, means I can use these in EcoCert and Cosmos grade products as well. So now, let's get started. First, I have my water phase and I'm just going to heat this and start stirring. Now to this I'm going to add my phytic acid coated iron oxides directly to the water and you'll notice how quickly and easily they disperse. I'm then going to prepare my xanthan gum in my glycerin in a slurry step. And add this to my water phase. I'm then going to prepare my oil phase. and heat and melt my oil phase. Once melted, I can add my oil phase to my hot water phase. Continue stirring while the product cools. Now the stirring at this step is really more about forming the emulsion than dispersing the pigments because you saw how easily the pigments dispersed in the water in the first step. Next add the preservative. And finally any remaining mica. Now we add some mica at the end because this enables us to create colour adjustments over various shades without impacting the overall powder input. And when cooled below 25 degrees, check and adjust the final pH. And that's really all there is to it. Now remember, the product you make today 
will be more runny than normal, but it will set to this beautiful emulsion viscosity by the next day. And just a reminder why you might want to use phytic acid coated iron oxides, because the normal grade clumps together and does not disperse in water, while the phytic acid grade goes into water nicely, enabling you to create really light feeling but high coverage oil in water emulsion foundations. Happy formulating!